Got it inside of the Barry Arena here for the Oshawa Minor Generals and the Barry Junior Colts. A couple of seconds in here to the uh, Friday night matchup. And Gallinero gets the first puck here. There's going to be no more videoing off the iPad. We're going to be doing it off the camera from now on. We'll get a lot more zoom in for this, so there'll be no more lies. So it's going to be editing from now on for the rest of the year after the games are over. And they'll be put onto the YouTube page for MJ Broadcasting. There's Dobbs over at his own bench area. Trying to get this way up here for Gallinero up through center. Gallinero's first shot gets blocked on the way through. And they'll pick it up and lead this in with number 44 taking one to the front of the net. He'll get taken wide there by Colin Kennedy. Good job there by Booker. And Booker got stopped there before he could take it to the net. Jackman's pass up there at center got knocked down, flipped in. Nolan Hardy kicks that off to the left behind the goal. Here comes McKay over his stick. Kept in here by Barry, but the shot is going to go wide. Nolan Hardy in goal here for Oshawa. I didn't get the goaltender for Barry. We will get that during the second intermission. That one is our first whistle of the game coming in offside. So now, Noah Lennox takes the straw just outside the Barry line. Trying to win it here. We're going to get the uh, face off here at center. Pick up there by Oshawa Sterling. Trying to tip it into the Barry end. That's going to roll in wide and get steered off to the left. Barry will start this from their own end with a stretch pass up through center ice. Trying to get it around Zach Nash, who stands him up. Stands him up. Good job there by Nash. And then he takes a hit there in the corner, but the generals come away with it. Chapman couldn't get it out. Sterling gets the opportunity. That's going to come in offside. So now it's Lennox who's going to take this draw. It's a draw just outside of the Oshawa blue line. The line out here still with Chapman and Lennox. And also with Hutchings. Trying to put that in, but it got kept in there at the line nicely by Barry. Trying to get around the defender. Hit into the corner by Sterling. Back around the boards there for Nash, who taps that around for Hutchings. Hutchings couldn't get to it as he took a hit. No, no uh, penalty on the play as Hutchings was bumped at the Oshawa bench area. So play continues. Barry have it from their own end. Oshawa still trying to keep their Undefeated streak alive. They won the Nashville tournament. They were able to escape with a 3-3 tie with two late goals in Peterborough. And then they shut out the Clarington Toros last weekend. So it's a start of a back-to-back -back here between these two teams as well. As Barry is going to travel to Oshawa tomorrow to end this back-to-back -back games. Face off here from center. Won by Barry in the neutral zone. And they'll pick this from their own end. Coming around the boards there for number eight on the right side. They're starting it through center ice to try and make it the way through. He'll flip it past Kobe higher and into the corner where Davis is getting it behind. He takes a hit there from the Barry forward. Back to the line from Booker. Can't shoot it. Drops it over here to the other side. That shot is going to get blocked. Nice block there by Kobe higher. This could lead to something here for Braden Davidson to get away. He's going to make his way into the corner, but Booker... Stuck with him and made sure he didn't make it to the net. Taken away here by Barry again from behind. So they look for that stretch pass up through center. We're getting our first penalty on the hit there in the neutral zone. And Barry are going to go to the first power play as I believe it's going to be higher who's going to the box. Played almost four minutes here at the Peggy Hill Arena in Barry. The first ma ma matchup between these two teams. And it's going to be the first power play for Barry coming up on the penalty to Kobe Heyer. The faceoff will take place off to the right of Nolan Hardy and one cleanly there by Barry. But he's not going to be able to shoot it. Good job to keep control of it though. Look at it step into one. Nice block on the way through. That hit Conlon Kennedy. Setting it up on the other side here for Barry now. Looking for somebody to give it to. Finally finds it at the line. Walking in from the face-off circle. That might have caught the stick there of Nolan Hardy. Big save there for him. They're looking back in front again. Nice play to stick to his man, and he tipped it out of his own end. Some nice pressure there again by Blowen. Here comes an opportunity to bring this in for Barry. He cuts free, trying to take one to the net with a backhand. Nice defensive play by Kevin Kennedy to break up that pass from Crump. 
Walking it out back to the line there from Martin. Martin receives the pass here and sets up. Went over the stick of Crump, but still stays in the zone. The shot hit a stick, though. Nice block on the way through that one by LePage. Back down low here for Barry, though. They're looking to set this up in front. Here's a shot. Nice block again. This one's going to go to Dobbs. As Martin tried to pull the trigger, but it got stopped there and blocked by Owen Dobbs in the slot area. We have 40 seconds left to go on the penalty to hire. Getting it around Davidson. Back around the corner. From behind the net it goes. Coming around the left side. That is Campbell with it. Campbell keeps control of it. Drops it back there to the line. Looking to take a shot through. It gets tipped on the way through and into the corner. Campbell trying to get it back. But it's Ethan Jackman who clears it away. Barry have it from their own end. And going to start from the neutral zone. Didn't like his initial entry into the neutral zone. So he took a spin away. Dumping this all the way back into the corner. That's going to be Zach Nash firing it around. And Barry are going to go to 0 for 1 on the power play. It's higher. It's free from the box. Good pressure there by Mason Gallinero trying to take it away. Tipped off the boards and back here into the corner. Zach Nash on it now. Trying to flip this away for Gallinero. He's not going to get to it. With it now is Ethan Sterling from his own end with a lead pass up there for Jackman who tries to bring it in. Ethan Jackman puts the brakes on and goes into the corner. Then he gets bumped off the puck there on the right side. He tried to get it back there for Sterling. Sterling trying to keep it in. He'll hold the blue line. Gallinero went for the hit. That's going to go down the ice. And it goes for icing. Face off now is coming back into the very end. Just off to the left of the goaltender which uh, will get the last name for the second period. Kicked out of the draw, so in to take it now is Ethan Chapman. He's gonna get uh, also kicked out of the draw. This time it's a Barry forward that gets kicked out, so now we got both teams ready and both teams took the draw fairly. Goes back in behind the net. Barry trying to get rid of it out of their own end. Chapman's back there though. Coming around the other side here for Barry to try and get it out of their own zone. That's knocked down there by Hutchings. The Colts trying to get this through center. Emerson Davis with it there at center ice. Trying to flip that back into the Barry zone. And there's a drop pass that's going up through center. They're going to lead this in with number 89 taking one to the front of the goal. He's going to get pushed wide. That's McKay. McKay with it. Drops it down low for Crump who tries to keep control of it. He'll drop it back there to the line. Look for an open shot. And they score from the blue line. Number 12 with a shot from the line is able to beat Hardy. And Barry have broken a nothing-nothing tie and opened up the scoring here at the Peggy Hill Arena. Shot from the line that had eyes and beat Hardy. Straight through from the blue line. So Colts go up here one to nothing. Martin taking it back in his own end. With a chance to tip this away here through center to get around Kennedy. That's not going to work, but he's still after it here in this corner. That's Martin. Here comes a shot. Not going to make it through. And it's another opportunity here. Backhanded just wide of the goal. Big opportunity there on the other side. Now Martin's got it. Martin walking out from that corner from the face-off circle. Didn't like the way he was going to shoot it. Drops it back here to the corner. Getting it around the defender and all the way down the ice. That is going to go for icing. Face-off coming off to the left now of Nolan Hardy. It's going to be... One there, Booker. Tried to get rid of it. Couldn't do it, and they dumped that away through center. And all the way down the ice for another icing call. Face off is off to the left now of Nolan Hardy. Easy win there for Barry as Campbell won it. Back down low there for Booker. Booker trying to get away from the defender of Sterling. It comes around the corner there for Zach Nash, trying to wrap this around. He couldn't do it, so he puts it back in behind for a defensive partner instead for Sterling. 
Big hit there by Varela, who tried to knock Davidson off the puck. And that might be a penalty coming up here for Barry. It is a head contact penalty, so that's going to go to Varela. So just like Barry had their opportunity to open up the scoring, now Oshawa will get their first power play with a chance to tie things up. And they're at least going to send out the line of Jackman taking the draw. And off to his left is LePage, number 19. Or, sorry, number 93, Dobbs, is off to his left side. Nash is trying to keep this in. Found by Barry. And some open ice to dump that down. Hardy's got to come out here and leave it. He'll leave it there for Sterling behind his own goal. Now they set this up through center with Jack for Jackman. Bringing it up to the neutral zone is Ethan Jackman. A nice drop pass for Gallinero. Shot kicked aside by the Barry goaltender. Still stays in play though. Back here to the line here again. Nash over for Sterling was out of his reach, but he'll try and pick it up. Sterling shot into the corner now for Dobbs. Owen Dobbs from behind trying to wrap this around in front. Nobody there. Now he finds it right back. And that was a shot that just went wide past the post area. That had 1-1 one, one written all over it, but just fired wide by Jackman. Hardy keeps it behind his own goal now for Nash. Zach Nash getting it here to the other side here for Jackman with a lead pass for Gallinero bringing it in. Mason Gallinero couldn't go to the net as he had it tipped away off his stick. That gets dumped right back down the ice here into the corner. Hardy coming out to play it and wraps it around. Booker trying to keep it here, shorthanded. Here comes Davidson. Braden Davidson with it. Sets it up there for Gallinero on the left side. They're trying to get it back here to the blue line here for Davis, but couldn't get a pass to him. Now Davis has got it again. Davis to the other side. Look at it, take one to the net. That is a fired shot right into the pads and he holds on. Now it's gonna be the Noah Lennox line coming out here to start this power play. It was a four minute head contact penalty, so we still have 226 left to go on it. But uh, Barry have almost killed off the first two minutes. That goes down the ice. No icing. Davis back there to wrap it around the boards. Getting it up here for Noah Lennox. Can't get it around Booker who stood his ground. Booker shot. Hit a stick. It hit Davis. Still trying to get it there was Jackman with a lead pass. Or Hutchings with a lead pass. He put it in. Hutchings put it in behind the net there but nobody was there to take it. Only one man back. Davis has got to make sure Booker doesn't catch him. Emerson Davis will get it over here for Hire, who's going to calm it down and get it here to the other side. Looking for some open ice now. Up through center comes Hutchings. Hutchings brings it in, but can't shoot it. On his forehand, he had it taken away. Barry trying to get three here. Big hit there by Conlon Kennedy as he knocked McKay off the puck. Elijah LePage from his own end will start this with a pass for Lennox. Lennox couldn't get it out of his own end, so he drops for LePage who's gonna try and find an open lane. Tipped all the way in there by Bartlett, trying to pick up the first puck. Captain here from the line, nice play to hold that in by Davidson, who's back there playing defense. On the right side, they're trying to get it back here to the blue line for LePage, but it still gets kept in here. Moving it around well, getting it back there for LePage. To the other side, had to calm it down and get it to his stick was Kennedy. He'll get it back and get another opportunity with it. He'll push it off to the side. Here comes LePage. Shot gets blocked. Still loose there from the slot, and Generals couldn't get their stick on it. Back here to the line for LePage, who knocks it down. For Kennedy to back to LePage over his stick. But picked up there by Bartlett and pushed off into the corner from the right side. Now Elijah LePage is set up to take a Bartlett. Bartlett back there to the line. He was coming in there with Kennedy, but couldn't take the pass to bring it in. Oshawa keep control though. LePage trying to keep control of it on a stick. Drops it down low for Davidson who's trying to win this battle in the corner with Bartlett and get the puck free. They tried to get it back there through LePage but it was in his feet. Bartlett will get it again. Bartlett back here again near for LePage. Again here for Bartlett out of his reach. Trying to get it back. They've killed off the four minute penalty but Oshawa still on the puck. The pass was out of the stick. And kept in by Nash with a shot. Fired wide as he came off the bench. 2.15 left to go here in period number one. Here comes Davidson dumping it all the way in. All the way from center right in on goal. 
cleared uh, high off the glass down the ice and will come back into the very end on the icing call. Face off now is just off to the right of the very end. Oshawa had a couple of opportunities on that power play. The biggest one was Jackman at the side of the net who had the whole left side open but his one timer went wide. Speaking of him now picked it up behind the goal trying to walk this out from behind got taken down though. Here comes Barry from their own end trying to lead this in from his own zone. He'll bring it in over the line and that is LeMond. LeMond trying to keep control of it. It's going to go over his stick. Martin's going to keep that in though. He gets knocked down there by Jackman. No penalty. Blowing dumps it in. Right in on goal. An easy blocker save by the Barry goaltender as he tries to flip this away. Trying to kick this out in front. Out of the stick of Blowing. Blowing keeps it alive. Downs a shot. And he's going to corral that under the armpit and hold on. As we approach the last minute of play here in period number one, Barry up one to nothing on a goal by number 12 from the blue line, giving them a one nothing lead. Face off is off to the left of the goal. They win the defensive draw and clear this away. Here comes Higher, dumping it down the ice back here into the corner. He's got the one Oshawa penalty here in the game. And Oshawa had their opportunity on their power play. Couldn't do anything with it. Here comes a penalty coming up here to Barry as Noah Lennox got hit there at center. So back-to-back -back power plays coming up for the Generals. This one will take place with 51 seconds left to go here in period number one. And it's going to be Campbell that's going to go to the box for the hit for two minutes. Face-off is off to the left of the Barry end. Oshawa trying to start something here before the end of the first period. Got Davis and higher on the back end. Gallinero there to get the puck. Fires it around. Fired all the way down. This one's going to come right into Hardy, who's going to stop it. And he's going to freeze it up. He had thoughts about giving it to Davis, but saw that Booker was coming into the vicinity as well and decided to freeze that up and take his chances on another faceoff off to his left. That face-off is going to take place right here in front of us. Booker wins the draw cleanly, but the shot hit a stick. Now Davis racing after it against Booker in the corner. Booker, two-on-one advantage here for Oshawa, and the Oshawa Generals get away with it. Trying to get it away. Booker with a big hit there at the Oshawa bench as he took down Hutchings. Back here, back into the zone, and Hardy steers it away. Now Lennox with it. No Lennox. From his own end with a stretch pass. He finds his man, but that was going to be offside as the generals were in over the line with Bartlett. It's in the corner. That's going to about do it for period number one. We only had one goal score here in that first period. That was the defenseman for Barry number 12. So they take a 1 0 lead heading to period number two. Ready for period number two. It's Barry taking the, <clears throat> Barry taking the draw, Martin. Against Riley Brent to kick off period number two, and we've got the Barry goaltender name. It's Stoffer in goal for them, and Stoffer will drop it back in behind his own goal to lead it off for the second period. Cleared down the ice, and back here into the corner where Hardy is going to leave it behind his own net. Oshawa started from their own zone now. Trying to clear this away, got a hit. Tipped away here at center where Martin picks that up. Tipped all the way back here into the corner where Kennedy. Conlon Kennedy will keep it back in behind his own net and try and start off this power play here with Campbell in the box, lead pass. Trying to knock that down there with Bartlett. He did all he could there at the line. From their own end now was <clears throat> Conlon Kennedy. Lead pass for Bartlett, trying to get through. Here's the goal scorer, number 12. Rolling, I believe that is. That's the captain for Barry, too. That goes down the ice. Left and behind here for from Hardy. But it's a turnover from behind their own net. That was dangerous there for Oshawa. Tip right back in behind the goal again. From behind their own net, that was Sterling trying to get to it against Bartlett. It's in that right corner. They're trying to get it free. Trying to get it back to the line. Walking it with a shot. And a big stop there 
by Nolan Hardy, point blank, keeps this one at one nothing. Barry had the opportunity there for the shorthanded goal to put them up by two. And Nolan Hardy made sure he took away that insurance marker with a nice glove hand stop right from the slot area. Keeps his team still only down by one. And that penalty to Campbell is now over. Face off is behind the goal. Yeah, it's a battle in behind. Somebody's trying to take that puck free and it's Zach Nash, number 26. Flapping it away there for Davidson, captain at the line. Here's a shot. Hit its way on the way through. It's still loose there for Barry. They can't find it in that slot area. Taken away here by the Generals. Trying to get it around. Varela, who stands his ground. Put back in behind. Stoffer is going to play it. Almost turned over there. Here to Oshawa's Dodge. Big collision between Varela and Jackman. And Jackman took the worst of that as he fell down. Slapped around the boards past higher, and that's going to be Nash from his own end. Trying to tip this away against Dobbs. Brought in here for Barry, as that's Varela putting that into the corner. Still stays on side. Trying to walk this out from the left side, wrapped around the right, right uh, boards, trying to keep this in. It's in the... Uh, feet area in the Oshawa and they'll clear this away finally and now it's Martin on the puck Martin looking for some open ice to go he makes his way around one defender and finally reaches the zone but for finally getting uh, knocked over dumped down the ice Stoffer was going to play it but there was no need as it went down for icing key face off coming up here in the Oshawa end to be taken by Martin he's got another Martin in behind him on defense number six it looks like Martin's going to get kicked out of the draw here, though, and he will. Another Barry player comes in there to take it in the offensive end. Wins it back there. They get it back for Martin, who can't keep it in. Here comes an opportunity here for Oshawa as they bring this in the zone with a shot. Stop by Stoffer with a left pass save and kept in here by Noah Lennox. Lennox is trying to get it away here from Martin from the corner, along with Hutchings right here in front of us. Noah Lennox has it, walking out back here to the line. Here's a shot by Davis. Fires it wide. Kept in here again by Blowen, though. Elliot Blowen from behind. Wrapped it around the boards. Noah Lennox going after it. He'll drop it back here to the line, but nobody there to keep it in. Higher with it now. Kobe Higher bringing this one in over the line for Max Hutchings. Barbison from his own end. It's right back in behind the goal. We've got some music playing here at the game. They... Hutchings trying to shoot the puck here at the front of the goal. From behind, it's Barbison trying to flip this away off the glass area. And finally, not out. Captain here from the blue line. Nicely done. From behind the goal now is Martin with it. Martin looking for some open ice. He's not going to get around the defender, though. Now finally taken away here by Barry, and Martin was in behind. Drop pass up through center, and it's brought in offside. Campbell's going to take this draw just outside the blue line. Right here in front of us, Gallinero puts it into the corner. Kennedy and Booker going after the puck on the left side. Barry have the loose puck. Try to get it back here to the line was Booker, but he was too far in. Here's a centering pass. Still loose from the side. Booker tried to get a stick on it from the right side. And we're getting a penalty coming up here, as I believe... That's Booker who got knocked down right in front of the Oshawa net area. So a second power play is on the horizon for the Barry Junior Colts as it's going to be Kennedy that's going to go to the box for the slash. Face off is off to the right was Campbell. Wrapped around the boards here back here to the line. Good job playing around with it. Trying to set things up. That is kept in here at the blue line. The lone goal scorer keeps that in, pushes it off to the corner. Nash is trying to get that behind the goal. 
Booker's on it now. Back here to the line, over the stick and over the stick again on the other side. Trying to race to it there with the corner. Rolling coming after it from his own end. Didn't like the way he was going around the first time, so he puts it behind his own net. Now Rawling will start this on the other side. Rawling, the only goal scorer in the first period. That goes down the ice, and it goes for icing. Under 10 minutes left to go here in the second period. Oshawa's got the faceoff where they need it now with 118 on Barry's power play in the faceoff in the Barry end. But Chapman can't win the draw. Chapman trying to get to that loose puck here in the left side. From behind, the Colts have got it and take it in behind the goal. Trying to drop this back here to the line for Martin again. Martin a shot. Right pad save. It's still loose though from the side. And the Generals will clear it away from danger and rip it around the boards. Kept in here from the blue line though. Found by the Generals and dumped all the way down the ice. Stoffer's got to come out here from the faceoff dot to play it. He almost turned it up. He does! And he hit the side of the net. What an opportunity there, short-handed for Braden Davidson, but he couldn't find the open net as Stoffer turned it over. It was a uh, misplay there with the defenseman, and Braden Davidson almost took advantage, but he hit the side of the net, crapped it around the boards. Martin and Davidson with it now. Back in behind the goal now, it's Crump from his own end. Drops it back there for Martin. Martin starting it from his own end with 10 seconds left on the penalty to Kennedy. Finally taken off a stick there by Ethan Sterling. Lead pass now for Martin, who's bringing it in. Good job by Chapman as he takes his man into the boards. From the slot area shot, just missed on the glove hand side and wide. Trying to clear this away, penalty to Kennedy is over. Varela tries to dump this back in on the backhand. Taken away here by the Generals. Still loose here from the side. Here comes an opportunity to slap it down, and he will. And he'll kill off some Barry pressure, dumping it down for icing. Face off now is coming off to the left of Hardy. A big draw, one by Barry. Here's Barbison with it. Barbison with a shot. It's going to hit his own man at the front, but Barry keep control. Good job pressuring on the left side to try and take the puck away, but it was another nice... Uh, Job there by the very forward. Up there through center. Trying to get around the defender, he will. And it's here in the corner for Ethan Jackman. Jackman setting it up. Just out of the stick. That was just wide pass blowing. Big hit there on the corner. And we're going to get a Barry penalty coming up here for the hit from behind. And it's actually going to be a game for Varela. He's going to be gone. So it's going to be a two-minute hit from behind. And Varela is also out of the game as he's making his way to the dressing room. Seven oh nine left to go here in the second. It's a two minute minor and a game for Varela. Face off will take place coming off to the right of Stoffer with Jackman out there and blowing on his right side. Face off, Jackman trying to win that scramble draw. It's off to the corner for Dobbs. From behind, picked up by Barry. They'll send that away down the ice past LePage. Nolan Hardy coming out of his own end to play that. They'll come around the boards here up through center. They start this from the neutral zone. He's gonna try and bring it all the way in. He gets bumped off the puck here on the other side and dumped the length of the ice. Hardy will take it from his own end now to drop it. Fire it around the other side as Oshawa's gonna start this from their own end. Leading it through center there was Ethan Jackman stripped off his stick, trying to start something short-handed, but they didn't have control of the puck. Now Oshawa's got control of it, and they bring it in with Dobb, but his shot hit his stick, went up and out of play. Oshawa looking for their first uh, shot on this power play. There's a big, uh, big defensive draw here for Booker and a big offensive one here for Noah Lennox, who wins it clean for Sterling. To the other side, it was out of the reach of Zach Nish, though. Nish will push it down here for Gallinero. Out of his reach. Coming around here again for Sterling. Ethan Sterling does his job. Dumped back here into the corner. Not as Gallinero pushing around, trying to keep control of it. Here comes Sterling. Shot! Stop by Stoffer. Still loose. And they can't find the rebound. Barry get it. 
not out. Sterling held the line. Another opportunity though for Rawling to fire it around. And this one is gonna be successful and come out. Nash over here to the other side for Sterling. Sterling with a drop pass, bringing it in. Tipped all the way through. Good job there by Gallinero. Put it into the boards and then he takes a hit. Walking out here, can't get it out to the zone. Nice play by Nash. Held it in with his skates. And now Lennox, back here for Sterling. Ethan Sterling a shot, fired it wide off the top end glass. Another big hit there in the corner. Stays on his feet, walking it out there. Out front was Gallinero with a shot. Blocker, kicked aside there by Stauffer. Back here to the line, Gallinero a shot. Blocked by Rowling. Gallinero another one, they score! Noah Lennox cashes in on a rebound out in front of the net as the original shot from Gallinero was stopped with a right pad of Stauffer, but sitting right there on the doorstep for an early Christmas gift was Lennox, and he buries it to make it Face off as here at center. Dumped all the way in. That's going to go right into Stauffer who kicks that aside. Taken away. Trying to set this up from the side. It goes wide of the net. From behind the goal is Bartlett trying to get it. Capped around the boards. There's higher with a shot on net. Can't get through. Good job there by Martin to block it. Martin leads us from his own end. Will flip it to himself right off to the right side. We'll keep it behind the goal against for Brant. And Riley Brant couldn't go with the puck there on the left side. Here's a shot, right pad stopped there by Noah Hart, Nolan Hardy. Your goal scores. Rolling in the first period for Barry. Noah Lennox just moments ago on the power play has tied things up here for Oshawa in the second period. On this Friday night. <clears throat> At the Peggy Hill Arena and Barry. Barry looking to get their lead back. But the shot from the slot area went wide. It goes back to the line. Here's Martin. Martin a shot. It's not going to make its way through a screen. As they try and find it from the slot area. From behind the goal again. Trying to keep control of it. He's going to drop it back here to the line. Trying to step in it. Fanned on the shot. Coming away now is Oshawa. Where the pass was out of the feet of Riley Brant. And he can't go with the puck as he got taken down there on the other side. Crump from his own end. The pass was out of the reach of everybody. Trying to catch up to it there on the right side in that corner for Barry. There's Crump keeping that in. Crump from the face-off circle. We'll take it behind the net and look for somebody out in front of the goal. Crump back for Barberson. Barberson to Crump again. Out of his reach on the other side. It's back in behind the net. That is Campbell going back there as well, trying to get it. Big collision. That's going to go down the ice in here into the corner. Rolling here in front of us. Oshawa going off on the change. Campbell gets it. And Campbell, as he's dumping the puck down the ice, takes a hit. So he took the hit and made the play to sacrifice himself to dump it down the ice. It's Barry with the puck here in the corner. Trying to walk it out, here's an opportunity! And the shot might have caught the pad there of Hardy. Trying to clear this away, not gonna happen. Good job there by Barry's uh, Rawling to hold that in. From their own end, Oshawa skating this away through center. And it's gonna be Ethan Sterling needing the rush. Sterling breaks on, sets it up, Jackman shot. Nice catch and save there by Stauffer, and he holds on. Where you got coincidental miners. I know it's Sterling that went to the box, and one of the Barry players went as well, so we'll play some four on four, and four hockey, I believe. Nope, five on five. Here comes the other Barry player. 
Face off is off to the left of Stafford. Jackman to take it against Martin. Right here in front of us. Jackman tried to win a scramble draw. Patton coming away with it out of his own end. And we'll get a whistle. Mar <coughs> Martin to take this draw here in front of us. <coughs> Versus Jackman. Ethan Jackman trying to win that draw. It's on his feet. Wins it. Now Davis with it now. Dumps that deeper. Stoffer coming out to stop it behind his own goal. Left it there for Crump who tries to get rid of it. And away comes Martin with it. Up through center for Booker. Martin's pass for Patton was in his feet. Here comes Zach Nash. Nash trying to use his body to get through. But Booker held him up. Crump with it here in front of us now. Now Rowling with it. His pass went over there for Booker, but was out of his reach. So Oshawa have it in their own end. They pass, trying to send three away, and they'll bring this over the line. Nice drop pass by Dobbs, setting up Jackman. Back here to the line. Coming to the corner for Owen Dobbs, out of his reach. Chapman trying to bump, crump off the puck. Back in behind the goal. Dobbs is trying to pick this up, takes a hit there from Rowling. He's going to try and get some help here from Chapman to get the puck free. Ethan Chapman and Owen Dobbs get free. The pass out of front. Can't shoot. There's a shot. Still loose. Not a big save there by Stauffer with a right pad. Still loose from the side. And Stauffer makes two or three uh, game saving saves there here in the second period. As that uh, was a big flurry there by Oshawa with a couple of shots from the slot area. Stauffer helping out his defense. Doing what. Uh, Doing what he can to keep this at a 1-1 game. Here's a shot off the draw from behind the goal goes. Wrapped around. That goes past higher and down the ice. And it's going to be Blowing coming back in his own zone after it. Blowing. Trying to get this free. 50 seconds left to go here in the second period. It's in the, here in the corner. Coming after it there was Martin to try and get it out. Kobe Higher doing his job to keep it in there versus... Number 57. Bad pass, kept in by Barberson. And they couldn't do anything with the puck. That could have been dangerous there for Oshawa. Here comes an opportunity now for Martin from his own end. He has had to take it and spin away from the check. Loses it. Hutchings, shot to, to the front of the net. He went for the pass and Stauffer lost his blocker. Here's a shot. Blocker saved there. As that's not, that's not his blocker, it's somebody's glove. My apologies. He was able to make that save. That's one of the players' gloves in behind the net. There's a shot, and Stauffer is going to corral that in the Barry Colts logo and hold on. Two seconds left to go here on the clock. We'll pretty much have the drop of the puck, and then the two teams will go off for an intermission. That's going to be Noah Lennox taking this big offensive draw off to the right of Stauffer and against Campbell. Trying to win that draw and take the quick shot, but Barry win it defensively. We had one goal in the first, it was rolling, and then the Oshawa Minor Generals got that one back here in the second period on a power play goal by Noah Lennox. We'll see you for the third. These two teams are tied up at one. Peggy Hill Arena, Barry, Ontario, hits the Oshawa Generals and the Barry Colts 1-1 tie, heading to period number three. Once again, our scoring summary, it's rolling in the first period for Barry, and Noah Lennox on the power play. Tying things up in the second period. And now we start off the third. Ethan Sterling fires that up into the Barry bench. And that's the way we kick off the third period. Oshawa, as mentioned off the top, still trying to keep their undefeated streak alive. They kicked things off on the right uh, foot, heading off to Nashville and won the championship there. And then in the first regular season game, they trailed Peterborough 3-1 to one before scoring two late goals with the goalie out and tying it at three. And then coming up with a big win on the weekend over Clarington, shutting them out. So, And this is the beginning of a back-to-back -back between Oshawa and Barry. Barry travels to Oshawa tomorrow at the Del Park Arena. Rowling, lead pass. Nash is coming back after this in his own end. Gets bumped off the puck here in the corner. Coming around the boards here, it's for blowing. Blowing for Lennox, can't get it away, and that goes down the ice. May get an icing call. Nope, it's not going to be icing. Rawling fires this away. 
trying to get it up here for Crump. Off the boards there, Davis tried to flip it in. Dumped into the corner. It's going to carry him out in front where Stoffer's got to play that back in behind his own goal. Turnover. Dobbs almost did something with that. From behind the very net. It's Dobbs racing after it in his own end. Coming around the boards here for an opportunity. Trying to shoot it right to the front of the goal. It goes wide. Jackman trying to come after it again. Ethan Jackman getting tangled up and finally lost the puck. Skating it away through center and bringing it in now is Martin. Martin a shot. That gets blocked on the way through. And now it's Davis with it. Flipping this up through center for Gallinero over his stick. Good job by Barbison. Barbison span away from the checker and avoided the turnover. Now he gets it at center. Here comes an opportunity to bring it in. One man to beat. It's Martin with a shot going wide past the left post. And here's... Davis trying to get rid of it. Trying to throw one out of front there for Larman. Couldn't get the pass to him. There's a shot. Nice block on the way through. This one by higher. Martin with it now. He's got Larman out in front. Not going to be able to get a pass to him. It goes back into the corner again. Larman back here to the line here for Barry. There's a shot going in wide past the glove hand of Hardy. Found by Barry. Dumped right back in. Higher. Taking it back in his own own, from his own end with a stretch pass for Jackman over his stick as it tried to find Gallinero. Stauffer couldn't play it. It went over his stick and comes to the other side. Coming around through center, Rowling trying to skate through it with his own skates. Up here through center, over here to the other side. In over the blue line now is a pass, Martin taking one to the net, but can't shoot. He got taken off his feet, and we get a whistle. Face off is off to the right of Nolan Hardy. And when that draw goes back here to the line for Kennedy. Conlon Kennedy tried to get it up here through center for Riley Brandt with a pass, tapped in there by Booker. From their own end now is Barry. Trying to flip this away all the way down the ice. It's on the right side from behind the goal. He's going to pick this up. That's Campbell. Not going to be able to get to it. Here comes Booker trying to get it away. For Campbell at the front, just out of the reach. They were looking for Patton out in front. Didn't reach him. Here comes Braden Davidson dumping that deep. What an opportunity he had in the second period. Short-handed. He almost took advantage of a turnover by Stauffer in his own end. Sterling. Trying to get this through center ice. Taking off his feet. Davidson trying to keep it up there. Off the boards and put back into the Oshawa end. Zach Nash on it now. Taken into the boards there by Booker. Trying to find a loose puck through center. Nice play. Barberson was able to hold the line there nicely, but finally tipped away from him. Here comes an opportunity for Brant. Riley Brant taking one to the front. Couldn't shoot it. Keeps control. Backhanded pass. Back there for Nish with a shot. Stopped there by Stauffer, and he's going to allow no rebound out in front. Face off is off to the left now of Stauffer. Sterling with it now. Couldn't get the puck in the zone. Here comes an opportunity. Shot. Nice glove hand stop there by Nolan Hardy. One of his bigger saves of the third period here as he handles that one in the glove and takes another draw that's going to take place off to his right. Between the Oshawa goal scorer in the game, Noah Lennox. And number 18 here for Barry. Put back in behind the goal, slapped around the boards. Here comes Chapman going after it against Crump. Barberson drops it back here to the line as they look for an open lane. That goes down the ice. Zach Nash from his own end now. Nash with a good job to spin away. Kept in here from the line. Nash gets that again. Finds Sterling and looks for some open ice through center. That'll get dumped in. Rawling from his own zone drops it. And now uh, Barry get the opportunity to come in with Crump. They go off on a change instead. And that's in the corner here for number 57. 
behind the goal for Martin. Chapman can't get away with it. Good job there by Larman. Larman couldn't get it out of front. As that's in behind the goal. He's sitting in the front. Tip just wide. What an opportunity there. Just tip wide of the goal. That had 2-1 Witten all over it, but just tip wide by Larman. Back here to the line. Rolling a shot. Nice block on the way through. As Hutchings, the number 12 for Oshawa, blocked the number 12 for Rolling for Barry. Larman Kick his man down. Captain here by number 57. Coming around the boards here to get this out. Barry have got it and drop it back here to the other side from their own bench. Getting away from Nish. And Zach Nish with a big hit and he's going to pay for it though with a penalty. A four minute double minor going to Zach Nish. 8.51 left to go here in the third period of a 1-1 game. So the opportunity knocks now for the Barry Junior Colts with a four minute power play. Here comes Crump setting it up. Back in, not making its way to the net. Oshawa are gonna be head over heels now, just trying to get the puck and dump it out. Crump's got it. Back here to the line, here's a shot. Fired wide there by Martin. He's trying to keep this in. Martin gets back to his feet and keeps it in. Higher gets another opportunity, and this time he makes no mistake, clearing it down the ice. Stoffer leaves it from behind his own goal. That'll kill off some more time on this penalty. There's a pass broken up there by Blowen. And now Owen Dobbs tried to get in shorthanded. He's getting tangled up though, though, with Crump as Barry moved this away for Booker. Booker's pass was broken up there on the other side. And first one in here is gonna be Patton to try and get it away from higher. Booker keeping it in. Over here to the other side, out of the reach of Crump, but he takes it off the carom. Crump keeping control of that puck, walking out. Crump. Nobody's taking him off that puck. Now he gets an opportunity to shoot. Crump a shot. Stopped there by Hardy. And still an opportunity here for Blowen. And he goes to his backhand to clear that down the ice. Stoffer will leave this from behind his own goal and play it now. Got it up there for Rawling on the wraparound. Rawling's intended pass was read well and broken up by Riley Brandt. Through the neutral zone, dumped it into the corner. All the way behind the net there is Condon Kennedy. Kennedy can't get it out. Now he does, but nice play there by Rawling. Held the line and keeps the pressure on here for Barry. Number 57 behind, walking it out. Nobody's on him, he's gonna set it up and it goes over the stick. That was one timer written all over it. Rawling can't keep it in. Mason Gallinero shorthanded, trying to kick it to his stick. Here comes an opportunity. Gallinero backhand, kicked away there by Stoffer on that shorthanded opportunity. Gallinero trying to keep it here on the right side. Barry are gonna control their own fate here from their own end. The lead pass through center. Redwell by Oshawa and dumped down the ice. 140 left to go on the double minor to Zach Nash. Up through center it comes. Let in here by Marling. Marling with a wraparound, stop there by Hardy. And an extra shot there by number 57 out in front. But it was in the pads of Nolan Hardy who holds on to it. Campbell takes this offensive draw here for Barry now. Big win there for Bartlett in his own end. Wrapped around the boards, high off the glass. Capped in though by Barberson who knocked it down. Barberson, Martin, shot. Nice stop there by Hardy. Got a stick on it. Clears out away past McKay but kept in at the line by Martin. Walking it out from behind the goal now. It's Campbell for McKay. McKay back to the line for Martin with a shot. That hit the glove hand. Might have tipped the glove hand of Hardy. Back here to the line again for Campbell. He's not going to be able to shoot. Campbell still got it. He'll move it over here to the other side for Barberson. Broken up well and dumped down the ice. Stoffer's got to come out here to play it from his own zone. 40 seconds left to go on the penalty to Nash. From behind the goal for Barry, they started out. Trying to get around the checker, flips it past higher into the corner. Hardy's gonna leave it from behind and that'll get cleared all the way down the ice and kill off more time. Stoffer's gotta play it from his own end. That's going down the ice, this could be icing and it is going to be icing. That's gonna play well for Oshawa with 20 seconds 
left to go on this Barry power play. Faceoff is coming right back into the Barry end. So a big job here by the Oshawa Minor Generals. They had a four minute double minor to kill off and they did exactly that so far. Hardy came up with a couple of big saves and the Oshawa forwards and defense were able to get the job done and clear away the puck when they had to to clear it out of danger and Noah Lennox does this out of the gun. Clears that through the neutral zone. Dumped in, past Sterling into the corner. From behind there, it's a few behind the net there for LePage. LePage is getting tangled up there with Rawling so he couldn't do anything with the puck. Penalty to Nash is over. Coming in, taken away there at the last moment. Sterling tried to get it there against Martin. Coming away with it there is Ethan Sterling. Overskated the puck so Martin gets it back. Sterling hit into the boards there by Booker. Booker in there again. Drives another man into the boards. Back in behind the, back in behind the net. Here's another opportunity here for Ethan Chapman. Trying to get away here on the other side for LePage. Drops it back there for Ethan Sterling who's trying to get it out. He's not going to be able to get it out of his own end. That gets flipped away through center. Barry have control of it with a lead pass for Booker just over his stick. From his own end now is LePage. Elijah LePage's pass is broken up there, but it finally gets picked up there at center and put in. 3.50 left to go here in the game. 1-1 one, one tie here at the Peggy Hill Arena in Barry. Stoffer leads it from behind his own net. Here comes Barry bringing this in. And it's an opportunity now for Larman. What an opportunity Larman had here in the second, third period as well. He had a one-timer right from the slot area that he couldn't convert on. Here comes Owen Dobbs to try and get through. He gets bumped by Martin. No, it's going to be a penalty. Coming up here to Barry, so a late power play coming up here for the Oshawa Minor Generals. And it's going to be an interference call. Coming up here to Martin as he rubbed off the Oshawa defender Dobbs there at the bench area. So after that four minute power play by Barry that they couldn't convert on, this is a big opportunity now knocking for the Oshawa Generals with the face off. Off to the left, it's going to be against Stauffer off to his left. Oshawa clicked on one of their power plays. The only goal scorer in the second period was Noah Lennox on a power play goal rebound out in front. If they can convert once more, it could potentially convert into the winner. Backhand at that, going down the ice, right into Hardy, who's gonna stop that. Drop it in behind the goal here for Davis. Davis, starting it from his own zone now, it's up through center. The late pass for Hire was going to take it off the stick. Hire trying to take this right to the front of the net, and he had it knocked away off a stick. Dumped down the ice where Hardy's going to play that. Not the place Oshawa wants to be on their power play, but now they start it out. From their own end, they'll lead this up. With some speed, bringing it over the line. There's Riley Brandt on the left side. That's going to come around the boards and come right back here at center for Conlon Kennedy. Kennedy over here for LePage. His pass for Brandt was in his feet. And then he takes a hit as he moves it into the offensive end. Hardy coming out of his own net to play this. Dropping it behind his own goal there. LePage is going to keep it back behind the goal. Elijah LePage with a lead pass out of his stick. Barbison off the boards and dumped down the ice. Here comes an opportunity. Hardy almost overplayed that. From their own end, this is LePage with a pass for Lennox. No Lennox tries to get around the defender. Lennox is pushing his way right there to the corner to try and get it in there against Rowling. Bartlett as well and going in behind. Lennox and Bartlett comes free for Noah Lennox. Lennox has control. Back to the line for Kennedy. Shot! Just wide on the post area. Kept in at the line though. There's a shot getting blocked. Five seconds left to go on the penalty. 1.23 left in the game. Kennedy with it. And now it is penalty over there to Barry. Slapped around the boards. Tipped off the back end boards and picked up here at center. Trying to get around the defender, he will. And it leads to a rush here. Here comes the pass! And they score from the side of the net. Number 57 converts on a pass by Martin. 
to make it 2-1. Face off is going to be. <laughs> it's going to be here from center for Lennox. No, Lennox can take the straw. Still some time left here on the clock. And remember, Oshawa is pretty good at scoring with the goalie out. They scored two against Peterborough to come back. Can they pull off one more magical moment here? Davis dumps it deep and off goes Hardy to the bench for the extra attacker. Around the boards that goes. Trying to cut it off here on the line. Walking it in from the side. He's going to pass. Stop there at a front. Can't convert from the slot area. Kicked out. Here comes an opportunity now with it. Here at center. Davis flips it away. It's going to go down the ice and into the corner. Barry get it. Wrap it around the boards. That's going to go down and go for icing. Face off is off to the right. Cleared out by Barry. Here at center was higher. Dumping that deep. No icing. Rolling had it in his own end. 20 seconds left, wrapped around the boards, high off the glass and out. An opportunity here with the empty net. Taking one to the goal is Patton. He'll set it up, and it gets iced away by Campbell, and they're going to hand Oshawa their first loss of the year here on this empty netter by the Barry Jr. Colts. That's going to make it a 3-1 game here for Barry. They're going to escape with the two points on this night. Oshawa will get a chance at revenge tomorrow when these two teams will play in Oshawa at the Del Park Arena. So we'll wind up the rest of this game with 12 seconds left here on the clock. Campbell gets the icing on the cake. He puts it into the open goal and Oshawa are gonna drop this one here three to one at the Peggy Hill Arena. Suffer their first uh, first loss of the year. This is going to be face off again here at center. Eight seconds left to go here on the clock, so it's going to be pretty much drop the puck here again, and we will end this one here at the Peggy Hill Arena on this Friday night. Dumped into the corner from behind the goal, wrapped around, and that's going to come out. Here comes one more shot on net, going wide of the net. And the final horn ends here at the Peggy Hill Arena. Thank you for watching on this Friday night. Your final score, the Barry Jr. Colts 3 and your Oshawa Generals 1. See you tomorrow night. I'm the voice of MJ Broadcasting, Mike Jackman.